This is Kilo, and today I am going to show you how to remove the end cap, the, you know, C-clip, whichever it happens to be on the lock you are trying to rekey. Um, we'll go ahead and use just a screwdriver here, as if you're trying this yourself at home, or maybe you're a locksmith in the field, and this is like your first day. Uh, and you don't have your quick set tool or anything, you could just take your finger and place it right here to the, you know, one side of the clip, put the flat part of your screwdriver against this side and just pry back. Once you get a little gap, you can kind of fit your screwdriver in sometimes. This one's a little on the big side. And on these C-clips, always try and keep you know, once it gets this far out, always keep your thumb right behind the C-clip. As if you don't, especially on newer locks, these these clips are very springy. And, you know, if you don't have your finger there, this thing will just choom, and he's gone. And depending on where you're trying to rekey this lock, if it's, you know, on a, you know, in the back of your service vehicle, it could fly out into the road and you'll never find it. So that's that. Then you just would take your key you know, put them in, turn them, use your plug follower, rekey, put them back. And from here, anytime you can, you want to try and, and replace this clip from the top. I see people go up from the bottom. You want to try to get in the habit of just putting it on from the top side. You can just lay him on and take the flat side of your screwdriver and just pop him right back on and he is good. Now, with this style, this is a Brinks, this is from a Deadbolt, and this is a common um, end cap that you'll find on Schlage, and you know, a lot of brands are using this now, a lot of um, the knockoff versions of Quickset are using this type of end cap. They do make a tool um, that basically kind of mimics the grooves here and it slides over the tailpiece and it pushes in this little pin and you could just unscrew it. If, like I said, if you're doing this in the field and you don't have that, or you're, you know, trying to do this yourself at home and you're not a locksmith, you just want to rekey your deadbolt. All you have to do is take anything. I'm going to use a, a hook here, a pick. You could use anything that you can press this little pin down all you need anything that you have um a safety pin you know a paper clip that you kind of stretch out whatever it is you just want to push him down like so and just start twisting until he's you know loose and you'll go ahead and take him off and you'll remove this tail piece. You could just leave this little piece attached. We'll set him aside. You will have this pin that comes out and you'll know that this little flat side is the top. This side, it, let's see if I could show you guys. This will be the top. You wanna kinda of take note of how you, how it came out just kind of remember that set it you know face up if you want inside there is a spring we'll see if he'll he's not gonna want to come out so we'll just go ahead and leave him in there and just like in the other defiant here we you know put our key in turn him and you can take your plug follower push him through rekey it turn him back you would hold the face of the plug here, remove your key, turn him, you know, face down, make sure that spring's still in there if he didn't fall out before. Sometimes this spring will shoot out with him if you are not careful. So we'll go ahead and you just put the pin right back in. This part, if you see, it's kind of got these two little claws here on each side. And this little plate has a little notch that kind of corresponds with the pin. 
you can set him back in. It doesn't matter, you know, which one of these is touching the pin. Um, that's not important. What is important is kind of aligning this little notch in the plate with the pin. So we'll put him like that. And then carefully, we'll just push him right over everything, right on top. Kind of give him a couple spins to make sure he's on there. From there, we just take whatever tool we use to push the pin down to remove it. And we just push him down and just start tightening this little end cap. And the kind of the rule of thumb is to put uh, turn it all the way and then back it off one click. So tighten it all the way down and then back it off one turn. And you can see this one works perfectly. No issues. It doesn't, you know, if, if there was going to be an issue with this, um, it wouldn't let you, you know, pull the key out or sometimes it'd be too loose and you would have to kind of mess with the key to be able to turn it to, so just to know if you have an issue with him, if it's not, you know, if you put your key in and it's not removing, you have to, you know, loosen him one, one click at a time. So if your key's not coming out, you would just push him down and back him off one turn and try it again. If it's, not working properly if you go to put in your key and you know it's just not working and it feels kind of weird it's too loose so you would do the opposite and you would just push him down and tighten him one click and then see if that fixes it so that is how to deal with these two tail pieces this is very common on Pretty much every lock nowadays that you're going to come across is going to look like this or this. Um, when I was starting out, you know, as an apprentice, everybody was like, you know, this is, um, they would just tell me about Schlage's with this type of end cap. Now, like you can see, this is on this Brinks. They have them on these knockoff quick sets now. Um, Defiance kind of all stick with the C-clip feature. But just to give you guys an idea of how to remove that, to rekey your deadbolts or your knobs or whatever it may be, um, that's all there is to it. So if this video helped you guys, you can feel free to leave a like. And if you guys need help with anything else, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, have a nice day. So in the video, you guys might have noticed this little sticker decal here. It says remove decal to rekey and to rekey through the bottom holes here. If you were to remove this, it's basically just a sticker. And depending how old the lock is, depends on how sticky it still is. Someone could have already tried this and there's a little cap underneath um, if someone's tried this before, I've seen it where they've forgot to put the cap back on and I've stuck it back with this decal just holding the pins. Uh, just know that if you try and mess with this, it's kind of just more of a hassle than just going with the plug follower, the, you know, tried and true method. You can try this if you want to. This is set up for trying to rekey it yourself without a plug follower and dealing with all this. I don't recommend this for anyone working in, you know, the field or in the shop. I would just, you know, use the plug follower method just to explain why I went with the plug follower method in the video. Um, I always do just kind of a funny little version of these locks that comes with this feature. If you have any trouble with this little cap or anything here, you can always go ahead and call this number and complain to them. But just to, you know, put a little note here as to why this, you know, why I didn't go with this method for the video.